Hi, good morning, guys. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit chipper this morning. Things are looking up. Things are looking up. Praise God for that. We did our part to get some stuff going, and he did his part. Things are going a lot faster than uh, expected. But main thing is, things are looking up. I'm having a problem with my skin this morning that started yesterday and I'm not sure why but the dryness is just getting pretty bad around my mouth so I'm not going to use what I used yesterday on my face I'm gonna go in with the volcanic PHA pore refining toner from Innisfree you gotta shake this up because there's some stuff at the bottom I'm not sure what it is I'm supposed to go to work today. I called in and I said, I'm not coming. Um, I've got a migraine that I've had since, geez, I don't know. But the past three days, um, I took stuff for it, but I'm, I'm not going to work. I need a, I just need more time. I need more time. A lot of stuff's been going on. Although it's, you know, things are looking up, I just, I want today to myself. We've had people here yesterday. I mean, it's just been a lot. So I'm just going to do what I want to do today. And that includes me staying home and not having to worry or think about other things. <clears throat> I could go to work tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just waiting for Miriam to let me know if she wants me to go in tomorrow instead. Or just wait until next week. I'm pretty sure this migraine, though, is a combination of stress plus the weather. Because we're back into the pluses again. All right, that is done. Makeup. I mean, we're shopping my stash, but the only two things I have picked out for today is the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer and then the Rimmel, not Rimmel, Maybelline Perfector 4 one Glow. Definitely want to use these. I was thinking of using a sample out of here. The Makeup by Mario New Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer. Lift, Blur, and Brighten, but... I don't know. If I were to conceal, it'd be under my eyes and I don't know. So there's six samples in here. I would probably need to use the lightest one, which is 140 light. And then like, I don't think I'll trash the rest of these. I might keep them because even though they're concealers, you could use these to like bronze your face or whatever. So that came as a sample from Sephora as well as... The Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I already know for a fact I would never go out and buy this. I could see me buying this concealer if I liked it. But I wouldn't be able to tell on one use if I liked it. So I kind of feel like there's no point in me using this. Or trying it. Because I wouldn't. I would just would not go out and buy that. So I might just leave that aside there. Okay, guess what? If you guys are not aware, Twilight Collection is restocking 11 a.m. this morning, Alberta, Calgary time. Do I hop on there and order it? That is the question. I was grossed out when I missed the first two times being able to get it because it was like gone in a flash. Like you couldn't even blink and it was gone. Luna, I swear. Go sit down. Go take a nap. Go nap somewhere. And I asked my sister Leah, I was like, should I get it? She's like, well, if you have that color story already, maybe you should just save your money and not get it unless you want it. And I was like, well, wise word. One second. Get down. And I was like, well, wise words, Leah. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
I feel like part of me just wants it because it's Twilight and not even the whole collection. Maybe like the eyeshadow palette and then like a highlighter because I don't think they had blush in that collection, do they? The lip oils don't intrigue me. I have one Luxe lip oil and this is enough for me to be like, I don't like their lip oils. Let's start moisturizing. So because my skin's so dry, I'm going to go in with my Pepto Pepteronic Serum. It's got like five... Six types. There, I mean, there's several different types of stuff in this. I don't have my glasses. Someone's got music on. Anyways, I'm going to put some of this in my fingers. I need all the moisture I can get. So, yeah. And then I'm like, okay, do I have a color story for that eyeshadow palette already? No, I don't. It's very cool tone, blue, green, gray. I really want to be smart. See, I ordered the entire collection for Beauty and the Beast, which will be here next week. I know I'm going to use all of that. That's my color story. I do like stuff with color. The Twilight ones like muted color, like the blues and the greens. But honestly... I think the packaging is kind of ugly for the Twilight palette, especially when you open it and you've got Kristen Stewart and Edward or Rob Patterson just lying there on the grass. They could have done better. My, that soaked in so fast. I need another layer. Um, And I know, I'm just thinking of that color story. It's a nice color story. I'm thinking also, if I just had free range to get what a, like, what a really caught my eye on there, that new blue palette, that still has my, that's still in my cart. I can't remember what it's called. But that one's still in my cart. And then Sage Today. I feel like those two are more appealing to me than the Twilight palette. So I don't know. I'm probably not gonna... I'm, I'm probably not gonna get it. I was contemplating the Golden Hour pal palette. But no. I think honestly... What's in my cart right now is the Sage Today palette, because I do like that one. Um, but I'm, I don't know if I'm ready to pull the trigger on that one, because it's green. If you've seen it, you might understand why, because it's like muted green, but it's green. And then that blue palette, undecided on that, because NYX, NYX, NYX Cosmetics, they came out with a palette that's neutral, but it has a few different shades of blue in it. That looks more up my alley. And I heard through the grapevine that NYX updated their formula. Unless I'm wrong. So I did two of this. That's good. Sometimes I'll do three. Um, this was like under $20. I bought it at Walmart. Yeah, Walmart. Pepteronic Serum. Sometimes I've gone in with three layers just until I could start to feel it a little bit. Um, and I'm okay with that. It's such a huge bottle. And, you know. Next, I'm going to go with my Innisfree Dewy Glow Jelly Cream. I don't know why my skin is so... Ooh. I think I might know why. One second. I just realized I introduced something new, but I've only used it twice because I'm trying to use it every two days or every three days. It could be the culprit. I'm not sure.
Yes, you're probably going to get a chatty get right with me today because I'm, like I said, I'm feeling mentally and spiritually better. Minus the migraine. But I took something for it to help numb it a bit. Um. Uh, okay, I think the culprit for the dryness, now that I'm looking and thinking... It might be the Innisfree Retinol Sika Moisture Recovery Serum. Uh, there is retinol in it. From my understanding, it's supposed to be less drying. So far, I only see like drying pretty much on my chin and like right here. Um, I've used it three times now. I didn't use it last night, but I used it the night before. Because like, I'm only trying to use it like, I don't know, twice a week, maybe three. Just to see if it does anything. I mean, chances are it's going to do nothing. So back to the Twilight collection. Do I get anything from that collection? I don't know. Do I want the highlighter? There's two highlighters. Maybe not. Maybe not. All right, for eyeshadow today, we're shopping my stash. But I did say a couple days ago, I redeemed my Sephora favorites. I redeemed the coupon to get a full-size mascara, and I redeemed it for the Rare Beauty one. I took it out of the packaging, but I'm not going to open this because I do have the mini. You know what? I think I'm going to use that mini today. Let's take that out. So that'll be what we do for mascara today. A... This is all my mascaras and eyebrow. The only thing is I do have like this in here because it wouldn't fit. I'm running out of places to put my stuff. Which I am embarrassed about. So we're going to grab the mini and use this one today. For eyebrows. You might be like, Tammy, why aren't you using your favorite? You want to know why? I can't find it in the darn stores. So I don't want to, I want to hold on to it. Um, although, let's use the brown one. We'll use the brown one. It's Essence. It's my favorite brow pencil, just not the right shade. Essence Eyebrow Designer in shade 4 Blonde. So we'll use this one. It's warm toned. My favorite one. This little guy right here. Shade 5. Soft blonde and it's cool tone. Both work for me. But this is my favorite of all time. I know not everybody likes the wooden pencil. Eyebrow pencils. My favorite though. I'm... So if they stop making this shade, I'll just... I'll probably just use this one. The shader. Because I always, I have I never have a problem finding the shade. 04 Blonde. Even though it's warm toned. We'll use that one today. Um, yeah, maybe today I will... Maybe today will be the day I do a makeup... I mean, we'll just call it a makeup collection. I do use all my stuff. Just... It takes time. It takes time. All right. Um, I should put my ring back on. All right. So when I redeemed the code or redeemed that coupon for the full size mascara, I did some looking around. And I, if you guys recall, I said I'd never tried any of the Rare Beauty blushes. I thought if I'm going to get one, I'm going to get one singular one. Because I don't want a bunch of shades for a liquid. I'd rather have cream, I think. Anyways, what did I get? I got the shade Encourage. I swatched it on my hand last night. I'm literally just going to go doop. Just like that. Because I think I'll use this today. I'm just going to put that much... 
because when I put more than that on last night, um, maybe I need a little bit more. My hands are also super dry, but I'm always cleaning. I'm a cleaning lady. Okay, I did a bigger dot. You can still, I can still slightly see the first dot I put down. I just feel like this is a good basic blush to have the shade. Um, yeah, I blended it out on my hand. One, I need to decide what I'm going to use to blend this out with because I feel like on me, I, is it because my skin's dry? Like my hands are dry? This set down so darn fast. Like there's no more moving this out to spread it out. Like she's, she's done. Um, it looks like I got a sunburn or a rash on my hand. It's nice. So we'll use that, I think. Yeah, we'll use it. Maybe I'll use a sponge. I did dampen a sponge just in case. Ooh, what am I going to do first? Let's get some e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Let's make sure I have nothing on. So we'll do that for blush. Um, I think what I'm going to do too... I put this all over my face yesterday. I think I like putting it all over better than just doing my T-zone. Do I have pilling happening? I think I might have pilling happening. One second. You know what that is, eh? I might not have waited long enough. Now my fingers are wet and I don't have anything to wipe them off on. <clears throat> Let me grab a mirror. I swear I have pilling happening. Gonna do a little bit more. On my nose area. Yeah, at the end of the day, before I go to take my makeup and that off, because right now, I'll let you know what time it is when I'm fully done getting my face done. Um, but yesterday when I did a get ready with me, which is getting posted right now, I decided, I'll put this in the basket. As I use things, I'll put them in the basket so I remember. Before I got, last night, before I washed all the makeup off, I jumped on and I did a update on how my makeup was looking. I think it held up fairly well for the most part. On my nose and chin, it was like already deteriorated. The blush on one of my cheeks was like deteriorated. But I still would have gone out looking how I looked. And I'm going to just take the sponge and go over. Those aren't the only two things I picked up from Sephora when I redeemed my code. I'll show you what I picked up. Not that I needed to, but I did. Oh. 
Oh yeah. So one thing I think I do want to get pick up from ColourPop is those clicker things like that Elf and all of them have. They have a. I'm thinking of just getting this set like those clicker lip plumping gloss things. I think that and that literally might be it. I was looking at their all matte palette, the bigger one, and I was maybe contemplating that and just getting the lip set reason be it because the all matte pat would be nice to have to use with the super shock shadows that i have i have different ones and they're just matte shadows and then go pick out your favorite shimmer <sighs> i man i feel like i can't make up my mind what eyeshadow palette i want to use today for the most part I'm straight up neutral, neutral glam. Eyeshadow looks what pops a color, but I probably won't use color today. So that looks like it's fairly well blended. Put that in the basket. Why do my fingers feel? Oh, the sponge was damp. Of course. I mean, should we try a concealer? I'm just going to try 140 light. Introducing Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer. Ew, it's got a, a smell to it. I mean, like, I feel like for me, a brightener might be... Let's put a little on my nose. Why not? I'm just wiping it off this side. There's still lots there. Me and my Rudolph nose. Can I reseal that? Maybe. I'll just put something on top of it. All right. Do I want to use a sponge? I mean, I do have concealer brush. Just pick up the rest of what's on my finger instead of wasting it. Does this dry down really fast? My skin might be too dry for this. I'm going to need to use the sponge. Look at my nose, even with the primer on. It's not blended on my nose yet, but I'm going to need to... Uh... I mean, it would definitely take care of the redness right here. I'm not an expert on concealers by any mean, by the way. This is a Real Techniques brush, and I'm pretty sure it's for concealer. Never mind, it says Deluxe Crease Brush. That's kind of big for a crease, for me anyways. And I'm kind of just trying to dab. I'll go over my nose with my sponge. You see that little bit though? I mean, I just, I use like next to no product. That definitely brightened my under eyes and. The redness is back. <laughs> um, I'm just going to dab even over the, this part. Is it illuminating or no? I think for me, because I do have such dry skin. New Surreal Awakening Concealer. Lift, blur, and brighten. If I was to get a concealer, this one was what? Light 140. So that's like the middle. I wonder if light 160 would suit me better. 
But this one, you know what? Maybe light 140. I wouldn't do light 120. That would be way too light. No, maybe light 140. My question is, though... Hmm. I think I would like to get it illuminating... See, something's sticking right here, and it's the concealer. Come here. Because me, personally, although I do like that, Mayb I do like that Maybelline 401 Glow Perfector. That's starting to, uh... I like it. No, I haven't been using one of my favorite products. The e.l.f. Halo Glow. I'm just trying to give some other things. See how, like, I'm halfway done this bottle. If you can see the line, I'm not sure. But it's to here. I'm trying to give some other things a try. Because I always, always use that. Okay, that concealer, not bad, not bad. All right, I don't have bronzer or anything picked out. I do have a blush. This is a shot my stash. Tammy's gonna use what she likes. I'm gonna use the liquid blush, but I think when I top it off, I just, this is one of my favorites and my hourglass. I think that would go pretty over it. After I show you guys my collection, if you see something you're like, ooh, I like to see how that looks, let me know. I think my collection will... I'm going to do that here soon. Okay. Focus. Focus. I need bronzer. Do I use... Yesterday, I used the Fenty. I don't think I have any drugstore. You know what? Yes, I do. If you guys are getting tired of seeing this, I'm sorry. Elf Halo Glow Beauty Wand Condor. I'm going to use this. I do like that. And I'll just blend this out right quick. Don't worry, I'll show you what else I picked up from Sephora in a minute. Because I think I'm going to use one. I just... I really like eyeshadow. I mean, I think I like all the stuff. I like face stuff. I like blush and bronzer. I like eyeshadow. I used to really like highlighter, but I feel like I'm not using highlighter as often as I used to. I think I kind of like the idea. I mean, obviously I do like the idea of adding your own highlighter uh, so that you can like choose how much you want or whatever. But I also like the idea of blush having like built in like luminous or... One sec, she's pulling out my quilt. Stop doing that, please. By she, I mean Luna. She's trying to find something to pick out on our quilt. It's like, please stop. Okay, so that is on. I do like the finish of that. Hmm. I need a powder. Oh, where are you? 
here's my dilemma. Some stuff is blocking me from opening drawers. That's cream. Oh, darn it. I want a powder bronzer. I'm just like... Oh my gosh, Tammy. I'm just gonna... Why do I do this? Something's blocking me now from closing a drawer. It means I need to reorganize. Oh, we will use... L'Oreal. I'm like, do I have a Maybelline bronzer? I feel like I do, right? Powder bronzer. It's summer. We will use the L'Oreal one, though. This big fluffy brush, I'm just gonna... I think what I have realized about bronzer, I don't like my bronzer being... having any sort of shimmer to it. I think I like it looking satin matte. For the powder, anyways. If like the, if I'm using cream bronzer, and it happens to be like a little glowy or shimmery, I'm fine. But I think for the powder, I like for it to be satin matte. Do you find a toy to play with? I think. Um, I need to remember I do like this brush. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of all wonky right now, but I do like this brush for putting powder bronzer on. Just, you know, go right in there. Someone that knows. And I'm just stamping it pretty much, like, and going all in the hairline too. You want that in there. Along the jaw. I missed a little down the neck. I think Matt and I are going out on a supper date this weekend too, or a lunch date. We haven't done that in, I think since February. It's just, I don't know. We could have, normally we tried to aim for like twice a month. Him and I go out, even if it's like for a solo coffee or whatever, just that. But I just feel like since February it's been, I don't know, not chaotic. We don't have a chaotic life. We don't really have a stressful life, but sometimes things pop up. What Without getting too into it, because I do know in my earlier videos, I do kind of touch on subjects. Mental health plays. Mental health is a huge thing um, for our daughter. So that's what we are going through. We finally got everything set up things are going good we're in alberta getting a family doctor is a hard thing again i won't get too deep but trying to get a family doctor it takes years you don't think i got her one yesterday getting a pediatrician is also hard to do and you might be like you don't have a pediatrician for your daughter no it's so darn hard to get them like doctors they come the amount of doctors that we've gone through since living here because they don't stay. And I don't know if it's because of um, our, like, the mayor. Like, I don't know. Like, I know our health care. Some people say like, our health care is horrible. I feel like our health care is good when you can, when you're able to get in to see someone. Anyways, it's just a couple of days ago, I, I told God I'm laying it all at your feet. Like, it's in your hands. You do your part. I'll do my part. It's all coming together. She's got a counselor right now who she's seeing. And this counselor put the referral in 
for our daughter to get her own therapist. Like, she'll have a legit... Instead of her seeing different somebody different every time, she's going to have her own therapist, her go-to person. And we should get a call neck within a week for that. But until then, she has a counselor who was here yesterday. And that was a, a shit ton of help. Um, but yeah, she got a counselor, the therapist. She should have within a week... Um, cause that's also very hard. The wait list for kids, especially for kids and even adults, the adults are having a much, much, much harder time out here. And I think just straight across the board for Canada and probably other countries too. Um, so like that is like, thank you, God. Family doctor. Once we go in, cause we see the family doctor next week for her for a meet and greet. And I'm going to see if I can go ahead I talked, I emailed, um, what do you call it, uh, pedia, oh my gosh, the word is there, pediatric doctor, pediatrician, they emailed me back and they said, listen, I'll take her on, um, but you need to, you gotta have a family doctor first who can refer, so I printed that email off, I'm gonna take it to the family doctor and be like, can you please refer? Because Grace does need to, she never needed um, psychoeducational evaluation before, but before we hauled her out of school to do homeschooling, they did mention she should get tested for ADHD, um, depression, her anxiety, but her anxiety is, you can, you can see it, um, but you, you can't just guess these things and assume in order for like to get help help on these things whether it's therapy or medication that you need to be evaluated on these things she did two two tests she passed um but not for none of those things so i mean yeah i'm just glad it's like bam 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 um yeah i'm not messing around with anybody's mental health People, I know for some people it's a taboo, especially with adults, but even if you're an adult and you're not a kid, go get help. I, you, I mean, you have to advocate for yourself sometimes. My husband and I are advocating for our daughter. Um, we just didn't know how to do it. And the right people are in place there now. <clears throat> so we're getting the help that she needs. So... Which is fantastic. I'm like, where am I going now? Bronze is bronzed. That is a nice bronzer. I'm like, do I do blush next? Okay, maybe I will. I'm going to use the sponge. And I'm just going to do one dot... And I'm just going to do one side at a time. Do I do a sponge? Yes. It's because since I don't know how to use this correctly, yes, I'm using a sponge. Yeah. Because uh, like we've talked before too, our daughter has... She's out of school because of the bullying. She couldn't handle it. Her anxiety is also getting in the way. We have strategies for her anxiety right now. Because her anxiety is playing the, a major, major role in a lot of things for her. I'm like, do I want a little bit more? I think I do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Too much. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. The sponge is helping for it to not get too out of hand. So with, without. Yeah, a lot of kids are 
dealing with mental health. Even if you're not sure if your kid's being serious about stuff either, I would still re highly recommend taking them to a family doctor, a walk-in, or if you're really not sure, take them to the hospital. Um, we've done that with Grace a few times. Because again, we weren't sure how to go about things, but now things things are set up so that She's, she'll be taken care of. Out here in Alberta, especially Calgary, so if you're watching and you're from Calgary, there's this place called Summit. I don't know when it was built. I don't know if it's been like the past couple of years, which I think it has. Fantastic, fantastic place to go to get help and resources and you can go as many times as you want and it's free. Matt and I were told yesterday that if we need to talk to somebody we can go there but we are we're good for now. Our concern is her daughter I did take this down. Did it go too low? Maybe. Might, that might be the bronzer down there too. I'm going to do a little bit more. I don't think I will get any other shades of that. Like I said, I think I just wanted one basic shade. I might take some more of that concealer. It's pretty. I have to play with it though. Um, no, I'm not going to take the concealer actually. I'm going to take um, this. Just right here. I think I got it too low. My eye bags, or whatever you want to call them, or I don't like them. Just run that a little bit right there. Okay. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> this part right here. Um, because it's only on this side. This is the side I sleep. Yeah, that's the side I sleep on. I don't remember where I was going with my conversation. Oh, just mental health is serious, whether you're a kid or an adult. If you're not sure if someone is serious or not, you know. Take them to go see somebody anyways. Most emergency rooms will take you and you just gotta say like mental health I so and so you know they'll help you get it sorted out it's the wait times though so all I know is like huge thanks to God cause I'm pretty sure he helped get things rolling cause a lot of stuff that we're doing takes months to over a year cause the wait lists uh, kid, nobody should suffer. I was going to say kids shouldn't suffer. No, they shouldn't. Nobody should. No one should be suffering in silence. Whether it's anxiety, panic attacks, depression. Even if you're scared to speak out, speak out. All right. Let's do the eyebrows. I feel like I'm stalling on the eyeshadow because... I can't make up my mind of what I want to use. 
Yeah, my nose. I wipe my nose. Nothing's... No concealer or foundation is going to protect my nose. It's more natural to have like red in your nose anyways. I like that blush. I feel like I can see it more on this side, not this side. Um... I don't like the brush on this though. But I'll use it. All right. Let's go with the hourglass blush over top, and we will use. I know I gave Grace one of my favorite blush brushes. I'm not going to go ask her for it back. I'm going to use this. It's just a, it's a ColourPop F30. I'm just going to, you know, get my brush in here. Love it, love it, love it, love it. This is the only shade I have and the only shade I've ever tried diffused heat, but I like it. Bonjour, kiddo. You recording? Yep. Oh. Need something? No. No? I just wonder why the hell's so quiet. Yeah, recording. You know, Dad joked, he was teasing me last night about getting another cat, a kitten, to play with Luna. Oh. And then he was like, oh, I'm just joking. He's like, I'm just putting that in your head. I was like, you can't put something in my head. Like, I'm going to want another cat for Luna. I've been wanting one for so long, too. I know. I have a funny feeling we might actually end up getting another. Oh, we probably will end up getting... Just not right now. He's just back to work. Yeah. I mean, look at this little one. He's already adorable. Luna's adorable. I We think she needs a friend. Yeah. Oh, we could give her, like, a tiny dog. Um, I don't know. We want to be in a house before even considering a dog, not an apartment. Mm -hmm. Yep. But you love cats? Yeah. yeah we want our own yard for our dog, that's why, for the most part. Oh. Uh, yeah. I, I understand that. Like, if we were to get, a, like, a medium or a tiny dog, mm -hmm. I would probably be willing to take on any walks and I'm able to. Yep. And plus, I'll, I'll probably take it over to that field just over there to... Yeah, I don't think we'll we'll get a dog living in this apartment though. But I don't know. Dad, my husband knows if he brings something up, it's in my head. If we do get another kitten, could I be help choose this time? Yeah. Well, Dad said if we did, it would be a kitten, yeah. another kitten. Luna is like she just turned a year old. Would we be able to go to a, like a shelter and look? Probably. Yay! I'm yep. coming with this time. Don't get excited, though. <laughs> Don't tell me not to get excited. Yeah, 
Yeah, because Dad said he was joking, but I can see us in the foreseeable future getting a, another cat. When you say that, you mean for the next three months? No. Yeah. Are you going to get a little sister? The initial cost is what it is. Um, so we got Luna, we got her all vaccinated, got her fixed. Um, I can't remember D worm. Like she got all the we paid for all the stuff that she needed done. Got her chipped. So when I was at I didn't go. I was online. When I redeemed my code, you you guys might have met, noticed, was it yesterday's get ready with me or the one before? The new Morphe palettes. They were previewed, but they weren't available to buy. I don't think they were available for me anyways till after the sale. Um, yes, I picked up all three. They're pretty. This is like a pink one. Does it have a name? Artist. Artistry palette. I, I need my glasses. I don't think they have... Oh, okay. Rose to Fame. So this one's Rose to Fame. I feel like I might use this one today. Apparently, I did keep the sleeve for one of these. Because it tells you... Get rich and foiled. Apply dry for overall creamy effects. And that's referring to this middle shade. Apply wet for enhanced liquid effects. I kind of... That's pretty. What else pretty? What? Hey. Yes, you are. You better remember that. I won't forget, trust me. Okay. I do want to see who... I want to swatch. I think this is going to be the one I end up using. That's pretty, but on my skin, that almost blends to nothing. That's pretty. Can you guys see? This one here almost blends to nothing. That's the, uh, this one right here. I know, I'm thinking I might use this one, but we'll see. I'll show you guys the other two. Are you getting... Is it lunchtime or... I don't know. It's 11.46. Oh, is it? Ugh. I mean, I didn't get up till 9 this morning. Well, so anyways... I, half an hour ago. I know. This is the Rose to Fame one. Then we have Going Platinum. Ooh, it's perfect. <sighs> you know, there's birds this might be comparable, maybe not in quality, but the, is it called Going, darn it. I think I have a ColourPop one that the color story is similar. This one's calling my name right here. Ooh. Dang, maybe I might use this one. These definitely feel soft. Is this a new formula? I don't know. I only have one Morphe palette right now. And it's like a it's one of it's like a medium size neutral. You guys see those? I should have put them over here, but those two lighter shades are pretty they're pretty light. One's like a pinky and one's more champagne gold. What's your supper? Uh, oh, we're doing chili today. Chili? Yeah, I took out a freezer meal chili. Yeah. And I'll take out the rest of the non bread. Yeah, bread? Yep. Yep, there's chicken nuggets. And then the last one is the, I'm not going to swatch every shade, just some of the shimmers, Gold Seeker. Mm -hmm. 
tiny little zipper. To me, they're all, these are all neutral. This one has the most amount of mats in it, I, by the looks of it. This one could easily become an everyday, easy palette. There's three shades there. They're so light, though. Some of those lighter shades are very light. So I'm going to pick one of these. I do want to use a uh, not a color pop. A Natasha Denona palette. But I'm going to use one of these. Let me just. They're all so pretty. Hey, Mom, would we be able to get a boy cat? I mean, it would still get neutered. No matter what we get. I'm going to use this one. I don't know, I think it would be cute. It really. No matter what kind of. If female or male, they're getting neutered. Oh, it'd be so cool to get a Mancoon. Mancoons are expensive. expensive. Yeah. yeah. You an orange cat. Those guys are crazy. An orange cat? Yeah. So I'm going with this one. Just like a ginger. Oh, I'm just going to put this shade all over. It does have like a pink, pink tone to it. There was an eye brush that I used the other day. I think I have to go watch one of my videos. I can't remember which one it was, but I really liked how it laid down the shadow. All right, I do have my brushes right here. I wish I could remember what it was. Was it a Morphe brush? For the life of me, I really do not remember. Bless you. I'm gonna go into this Morphe brush. It's a TE202. I'm gonna go into this shade right here. Put that right here. Just get some color in my lids because that first shade really whited everything out. It's a nice shade too. It's not brown, but it's not straight up pink either. Are you going for a walk today? No. My back is killing me. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's why I stayed in bed so long. I was cramping up. Ah. Yeah, it's my mid, middle one, uh, lower back. Okay. Despises me. Yeah, I was thinking today, chilling at home. My migraine subsides. I might do a workout. And also my allergies are killing me. Are they? Yeah. Take a allergy pill. It's what happens when spring comes along. I suffer. You want to try and take one of those the same time every day. Mm. Same color. I'm just building it up to what I like. Why are they so tiny? Uh, honestly, I'm not sure. So this one only has four mats, which is the four corners. So here, 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 and here, and then like the rest are all shimmers. Hmm. So I'm just gonna follow the mats. I'm gonna go into this one next. Coffee. Are you having coffee? Iced coffee. 
Yeah. Can you save me a little bit of that? Because I like to try it. I'm going to go into this elf brush. Not elf. Wet and Wild. I found this at the Dollar Tree. Don't know the name of it. No. Is that what's left? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Okay. My bad. How did... It was only like enough for three glasses. Oh, oh is it because you, you filled, filled your cup up? Hey, I need my cap to go with. And I was going to put that shade on the outer... And a little bit up into the crease. I know some people don't like Morphe. I can't really speak on them because I only have, um, uh, yeah. Are you going to see Morphe be in the forest soon? We can see that forever. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't planning on going to see that one. I'm pretty sure it's on rent on Disney Plus. I do know. Um, yeah, it's been out in theaters for almost two weeks now. Has it? Yeah. Should be on Disney Plus for rent by now. If you want to see it in theaters, what if we check out, instead of the big movie theater, check out that other one we went to before? Um, what's it called? I'm not sure anymore. I think it's over in Canyon Meadows. Yeah, I can't really speak a whole lot on Morphe Shadows. Um, I'm still dipping that same brown, trying to build it up. I have one medium-sized palette. Like it's, if you took two of these and put them side by side, it's probably like that size. It's a neutral palette that I do like. Very basic, buildable. Um... I think I did own one of Morphe's larger palettes a long time ago, but it was when I was just fooling around with makeup and just learning how to use it. I don't have it anymore. Because once upon a time ago, I had zero idea of even how to do my eyeshadow. It was a pretty palette. I've contemplated picking it up again, but I was like, no, I've already... Why did it go on a lot easier on the other side? I don't worry, I will clean that up. Just take the sponge and, you know... Go right here. I feel like something right here is bugging me on this side. I'm gonna go into that first shade I used and just put a little bit of that in here. Okay, so right now we just have a few mattes going on. I'm going to take that shade I just used, not the light one, but the very first shade I used. Not the very first shade. This shade right here. I'm going to go into that one and maybe mix in probably this one and this one and go on the lower lash line. What are you having? Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. I haven't eaten yet because I don't know what I want yet. That's fine. I'm going to go into this shade right here. Well, I don't know. I think I'm going to go in this one. Huh? You guys can still talk. Yeah, I walked out 
here. She's a media. Check out what I'm doing. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> If you're wondering what shade I'm using, I'm using this one right here. They do have names. It's called Charmed Life. Why is that not looking the same on the other eye? I guess I gotta really get my finger in there. There we go. Here we go. Uh, yeah. I like the color. You really gotta get your finger in there, though. In the pan, one, it is very soft. It looks like it would have gold in it, but I'm not seeing gold. I'm seeing, like, a champagne, maybe, like, a light, like, there's, like, a dusting of pink in there. All right, I'm going to take I'm gonna go back in with this brush. I'm just gonna go into this deeper color right here. like that and then take this brush with nothing on it and just blend over the middle between those two shades just like that Take this brush. Uh, there, did, did you see the piece of paper on the counter? Uh, That's for tomorrow. Really? Yep. So you guys have your rooms cleaned up. Just like that. I know, it's neutral, but we know that's what I do mostly. I do want to kind of take um, that shade right there, maybe wet it and put it on the inner corner just to see. How that might look. I do have a spray right here. So I'm going to spray the brush first. Sometimes I spray it afterwards, but... Swirl it in the color, that middle shade. And I'm going to... Pop it. It doesn't look. It's not picking up in the camera. 
It does make it. Ooh, that has some like some pretty. Um, I'm gonna drag it under. Under my eye. I don't know why I tapped. Definitely makes it more metallic. It's gold, but it's got these pink reflex. Um, pinky purple. Can you guys see the reflex or no? I do it down this way. On my end, I can see the... It's nothing revolutionary, but I can definitely see the pink and reflex of it. Hmm. I'm going to see if you guys can see it on my hand. Nope. Hmm. Trying to see if I can pick up the pink sparkle that it has. I feel like it's not going to show up. Anyways, let's see if I can re get that on the same other side. Does it dry down? Yeah, it dries down too. Pretty, pretty quickly. Alright, let's see if I can do the same thing on the other side. What did I do? Okay, I... Kind of ran it up here a little bit. And then I wrapped it. So that it would come down here. Not the whole way across though. I don't think it's gonna pick up for you guys. I feel like I definitely got more on that side over there than I do right here. I remember the time I was using one of the Scooby-Doo palettes, I think, which is very colorful. And I was just trying to like do different, whatever the heck I was doing on my eyes. Uh, I was like, Tammy, you just gotta stop, man, before you ruin this. I wanna make sure I stop before I ruin this look. That's... I like it. See how it gets more prominent on that side? I gotta be careful I don't ruin it on this side. Oh yeah, I can definitely see, like, the pink sparkle in it do you guys think this is a weird eye look i'm not even going out today <laughs> luna is making the squirrel sounds at the window all right i'm gonna dip my finger back into this shade and i'm gonna spray my finger
Why isn't it? I feel like it's picking up next to nothing now. It's not harp hand. It's just, it's so damn smooth. It reminds me of like one of these ColourPop shadows where one minute you put your finger in, you pick up quite a bit of stuff. And then the next minute it's like, yoink, nothing there. Don't scratch my screen, please. Nice. We're going to call this Tammy's uh, neutral fun eye look. I feel like I need a dramatic lash, but I don't wear fake lashes. I don't wear falsies. Um, geez, Louise. You're like a squirrel. Make sure everything out here nice. I'm just putting a little bit more darkness so we keep the depth. I wasn't meaning to like, I don't know, do anything aside from like a really basic look. But once I get some mascara on, I don't know. I mean, it might look weird because it's like a gold that's wrapped around and a line coming up. But it's fun. This eye here is watering and I feel like that's reflecting on here. Yeah, I don't know. Can you guys see? This eye is watering. I don't know how I got up on the... I don't know how it's transferring up onto the top. So don't take that into account. We'll go by this eye. Take that softer brown and see if I can... Fix it. Wish I didn't have watery eyes. Yeah, I might not be able to fix it. This side's fine. This side, my eyes are watering. And it got up here somehow. So we'll just ignore it, okay? That's that one. Rose... Rose to fame. It probably shows up backwards to you guys. So there is that. I will... These two will make their way into a video. Or a get ready with me. Mascara. Now I'm like, are the cheeks enough for this eye look? I guess instead of me having breakfast this morning, I'll be having lunch.
I of course got mascara on my lid but that is typical for me just it always doesn't matter what mascara I use I always 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 get it on my lids But it's okay. Matt's going to be like, what did you do to your eyes today? I'm thinking I should do a very basic lip with this look. Stop watering, please. Anyone else's kids have their TV cranked when they're in their bedroom? Grace does. That's something else, too. We're waiting... She went to a walk-in before we found her, we got, found a, a doctor who would take her on as a patient. Um, they put a, re the walk-in one said they were putting a referral in for a hearing clinic for her. That was months ago. So that's something else too. The meet and greet, usually they don't do anything, but I remember when I... Did a meet and greet. They asked me if I had anything. So. I'm hoping. I can at least get one concern. Um, the process of that started. During the meet and greet. For Grace. Like I said, Grace is not a, she's not a troubled child. She's not like causing chaos and destruction and stuff. She just, she needs, she needs a, she needs her own therapist for mental health stuff. She's in her head, in her head too much. Her self-esteem and confidence is not in a good spot. And she needs more than dad and I's help with that. Guys, I like this look. I know it's a bit weird having the gold, like a line of it coming up, but I don't know. I like it. It's, um, I might have brought it down a little bit too much down here, but you know what? It's fun. Makeup, it's meant to be fun. It's not to hide. I know some people say, oh, people, girls who wear makeup, they're putting on a mask. They're hiding. I got nothing to hide from. I, To me, I still look like me. I just got color on my face. It's about playing. Can you hide some of your imperfections? Like, I don't know, redness and stuff? Sure. At the end of the day, it's still me. It's me. Tammy. I'm just wearing makeup. So I think for this look, I am... Ooh, choices. This is what happens too when you got a brain that's like, Ooh. um, it's like for a look like this, when I think like a basic lip, I think, I don't know, just based on what I have, because I don't have a lot of drugstore lip stuff. Should I be embarrassed of that? No, I, I like what I like. Ooh, I want to do an elf one. I like that mauve one. I know I've already used it, but it's like, I'm either going to use Fenty, one of these Fenty ones for this look, or an elf. I'm 
I'm not gonna use that one. Uh, Cause I feel like this needs to be like a clear or like a really, like a mauve shade. Nothing too colorful. What one of these is the, I can't tell. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Pout Clout Lip Clicking Pen. I think I am gonna order the ColourPop ones. I guess the Wicked Cherry one might go with this look because the Wicked Cherry one's a bit more cool tone. You guys think I got enough going on on the cheeks? I mean, if I put too much more on the cheeks, it'll take away from... Don't mind me. I know this could get annoying, but I think I need to do a... Here we go. Oh, I need to do the Wicked Cherry one. That one looks better to me. So, boy, that one. And then, ooh. Man, I like how those feel on the lips. Drawer won't go in. I'm going to uh, clean up my mess. Today is Thursday. This will get posted Friday. I think, because I already have a get ready. Yesterday's get ready with me. Getting posted for today. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. Um... This one will go up Friday. Don't put your hands up like that. I like this look. I like it. It's still neutral, but... What do you call this? Like a funky neutral? I don't know. That's a pretty... Pretty palette. I wasn't intending on going this far with it. I was thinking of maybe like doing a few mattes and a... One shimmer and calling it done. But it's cool. Yeah, you can see like the gold coming up. Have it down here. I like on my end I can see the pink glitter or sparkles in it. But yeah, that's it. That's all she wrote. And then I do like this lip. I like this cheek combo. That rare beauty liquid blush. I wish there was a I do wish there was a mirror in here, but I understand price wise. If they had a mirror it would cost more. Um now I don't have a mirror. Um, the blush is nice too. I could have probably gotten a little bit um, more blushy, but she's cute. She's good. So, folks, until next time, I'm probably going to go fuel my body because I need food. I need more than just the matcha to get me through. And ooh, I have a few videos I want to do. Um... Although right now this is just a hobby for me because it's fun. I mean, I'll also record doing what I like doing. I do want to record a makeup collection, an updated one. Because I'm actually kind of surprised the amount of stuff that I've added since my last one, which I swear I did like in October or November. And a what's in my basket video. Maybe I'll just clock it up here and record the what's in my basket video so that one is done and I might upload that one Thursday which is today and then the makeup collection and this get ready with me will get loaded Friday and maybe Saturday I don't know because there won't be no grocery hauls or anything this week and um 
this is our first weekend. This is going to be our first weekend since Matt's back to work. As well as... Yeah, him being done school. A weekend for us to breathe. He's done school. He passed both Red Seal exams. He passed the TQ. He's officially a journeyman. Tomorrow he's going to go get his book stamped and that. Then he's got to do a bunch of other stuff. Um, yeah. I thought, and then like Grace, things just as hard as last week was. Not this week, but last week was the hardest week of everything. Just, I felt like bam, bam, bam. Everything's just coming at me. It seems like this week it's things are getting taken care of help has come help has arrived so yeah take mental health seriously folks if, even if you yourself need help or you're not even sure if you have a family doctor go talk to them um if you need some phone numbers because if you're not one that likes to talk face to face to somebody for help um and you're like i don't even know where to look to find a phone number who i can call or text let me know um, you can privately email me my emails on here and you can tell me where you live and I can help you look for numbers for you to call or text if you do need help um, you need someone to talk to so yep reach out <clears throat> don't put don't put mental health stuff on hold it's sometimes it can be something small and then more things add on to it and then it's blossoming into something that you do not want it to blossom into so no matter how big or how small you th might think your issues are you might not even think there are issues like reach out to somebody friend family member a stranger and face to face in person through a text through a phone call and if you need help finding resources, again, let me know in your email. Or I should say, email me. I'll help you find resources. Um, yeah. Now I'm like drawing blanks. Was I going anywhere with that? No, I just, I think people need to take other people. I think people need to take mental health seriously and stop making fun of people and stop trying to brush it off and say, oh... Like, what do they have to, ha like, sometimes it just happens. Um, yeah. I mean, I've had depression before. I've had postpartum depression. I know this is a get ready with me, but I just want to put it out there. How important mental health is kids, adults, old, old age people, old, like age does, how, what's that saying? Mental health affects everybody. Okay. No matter their age. So, again, if you need help and you're not sure where to look for resources, email me. We can chat privately and I can help you find some resources. Um, and yeah. Sorry if that's not what you guys want to hear, but I, I'm going to put that out there. Um, if you're new here and you like get ready with me's chatty ones even not chatty ones although i do tend most of them are chatty unless i myself am you know last the past couple weren't too chatty chatty but if this is your kind of thing chatty get ready with me's just get ready with me's playing with makeup shooting this shit talking about whatever comes out of my mouth hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos again i I do beauty. I like makeup. I've always been playing with makeup. I like food. So I do do grocery hauls. I sometimes will randomly do cook with me's. I just haven't been in the mood. It's, I don't know. Sometimes I will do shot with me's depending on if there's music playing in the stores. Cause um, a lot of people don't like it when you do like a shot with me and instead of them hearing you talk, there's music playing over. But sometimes that has to happen because otherwise you get copyrighted and then, you know, you don't want your ch channel getting shut down. So that's why there hasn't been any 
shot with me's in quite some time. Because the last one I did, I got a copyright strike. It was the last Walmart one I did. So there's not too many of those. Mm. And I like to shop and show people things, but, you know. Anyways, if you are currently subscribed, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're new, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future content. Anyways, guys, I could drag on me trying to end this video for like 20 minutes or more. So I'm just going to say thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And I hope you guys have a good weekend. God bless.